It's Bakubrad96 bringing you the end of the Bakugan Battle Brothers Celebration Week. It is Day 5 and New Vistroya Part 2 of the series. It will be the end of the series because unfortunately I don't have enough Season 3 Gundalian Invaders or Season 4 Mectanian Surge Bakugan 4 videos. Um, possibly I might do videos in the future, but for now, this will be the end video for this week. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the deck profiles I posted earlier. Those were definitely fun to work on. Um, probably won't have any more today, but I do have a unboxing planned as well as more deck profiles planned for tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. And if you enjoyed all those videos, hit a like button on them as well as this one because I really enjoy making everyone Bakugan content and I want everyone's feedback, so don't be shy. For today, I want to start off with something very cool. As you all know, we nowadays have uh, Geogon. Right here is an Arla Stardox. But before there were Geogon, there was something called Trap Bakugan or Bakugan Trap. They were introduced in New Vistroya, and I have three to preview here today. So we'll start off first with Subterra Fortress, I do believe, or, or something like that. Or Zorak, I don't know. I think it's Zorak. I think actually think this one is Zorak. So, uh, yeah, I kind of screwed up there. But uh, this one is Zorak. I do believe it was a cube. Um, and the way these trap Bakugan worked is when they were used with the Bakugan of the corresponding attribute, the hidden attribute inside the Bakugan is what your Bakugan would turn or uh, uh, change into. So that's how they worked originally, of course, now. Geogon act as independent Bakugan that take place of yours in a brawl, which is really neat. A uh, cool aspect to the game, but of course back then, the Trap Bakugan had their own aspect. And they changed uh, attribute rather than acted as individual Bakugan. Uh, there are cards for all of them, but I do plan on reviewing the cards separately. It will be a video uploaded tomorrow as well, but rather than be part of the Celebration series, it'll just be a card collection video that's nothing special. It'll just be me showcasing the legacy cards. Um, probably have some music over it, um, I'm not sure, but that is the general idea. So I wanted to save the ability cards that went with the Trap Bakugan for that video. And uh, for this one, I just wanted to show the, uh, the Bakugan. This one is, I do believe, a spider fencer. And uh, this one was really cool because it could uh, change your Bakugan into two different attributes, either Subterra or uh, Darkest. Uh, really neat. It does have manual parts that just flop open, little end pincers right on each leg. Um, this one was really interesting as well because it had pegs that could attach... To a certain Bakugan, I do believe it was Viper Helios it was intended for, but it can connect to the other Helios. I do believe it's Cyborg Helios. Um, really neat. It comes up, especially uh, later on in this video. And then finally, I think this one was known as Battalion or something of the sort, but it was Pyrus. And it could change the attribute to either or either Heos or Aquas. Again, a very neat concept for the game back then. Um, definitely not as cool as the Geogon are now necessarily. And I was just checking, yes, yeah, so this one only changed it to one attribute. Huh, weird. But that's it for the Trap Bakugan. Sadly, I only have those, uh, those three. But I do have another special surprise for everyone. I did mention that in the Legacy series there was a combiner set and that those well, sets and those sets were of course the Maxis Dragonoid and Helios. The Maxis Helios, much like the Ultimate Viloc right here, you could find independently in separate sets or you could purchase as one complete set um, just like you or unlike the Max's Dragonoid, which is only one standalone set, how like the Geoforge Dragonoid is one standalone set. I find that very ironic, by the way, they kind of did the same thing in the Legacy and Reboot series. But the reason that is important is because I actually do have pieces of the Max's Helios, 
that I did want to share today. Um, it is incomplete though, unfortunately. I never did find the front feet to the combiner, but I have all the other pieces and I want to show them now. So first off, we have the tail piece or the back abdomen piece, and this is metal fencer unlike the trap that I do believe was spider fencer I think this was metal or backwards I'm not sure which is which but I know they were both called fencer which was really funny but this one is aquas as well it has a G power of 530 and it is very awesome looking I really did like the idea of this or the design of this Bakrion and just the idea of it the way it pops open and just how detailed it is. It's really cool. Also a fun fact, um, in New Vestroia, the the concept of artificially created or mechanical Bakugan was introduced and all of the pieces to Maxis Helios um, I do believe were artificial Bakugan. I think they were all mechanical. So that is a pretty interesting idea that they are all machines. So to get this ready for the combiner, it's really easy. You just put in the head and the feet, leave the tail up, and then it has a peg, much like the Vylock combiner does, that you flip out. Moving on to the feet, um, I have no idea their names. Comment down below in the comment, you know, let me know in the comments down below what their names are. But they do have manual pieces on the bottom, little feet pegs. As well as little manual arms that both come out differently on each one. So here's this one. And it has a G power of 650. And this one as well that has manual hands that open if I can get them out. I have very fat fingers. Well, that's going to be a fail, but it does have little, little claw hands that do come out. So these are the back legs again. To get them ready, you fold down their opposite arms, I guess you would say, for each side. And then there's a peg on each. like that oh. and then the, you just plug them into the fencer it has this, these screw holes double as the actual peg holes and they slide in a little force but not too much you know but it does have to go in rather snug otherwise it'll just fall out and the same goes in just like the other and there you have the back portion of Max's Helios. Little back pegs never really stay out for me. Get on camera here. Surprisingly, it uh, it stays up just that those pieces. But moving on to the middle part, there is Foxbat. I have it in Ventus. Um, it has quite a bit of manual parts to fold out independently on the wings two pieces on both sides as well as horns and little feet what you close and open on this Bakugan for the combiner I always found to be a personal choice because it has a lot of options you can leave out a good many of the pieces other than the head and tail um, everything else otherwise you can fool around with how you wish but for this video I will put in the feet, the head and horns, pull out the peg, leave the wings how they are, and push that down. Then the, oh well we moved the little card I have set out, the peg to the fencer goes into the fox bat. Sometimes it does. And that sits like so. So you can already see it coming together. And another interesting thing is all the Bakugan for this set were round rather than different shaped like for the Dragonoid, a uh, Vylock combiner nowadays and even the Geoforge Dragonoid is these were all round. 
But like I said at the so that's gotta sit there. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of the video, unfortunately I don't have the front feet of the combiner, but I do have the head and the main part, which is the Helios. But my Helios is pretty interesting. I actually have the ripcord and all the turbine Helios that has a little wheel on the inside that spins. Um, don't know if I can pick it up, but maybe you can hear it on video. There it is. You can actually hear it. Um, it was a cute little gimmick. You know, it was another special attack Bakugan for New Vestroya. Just like there was the Turbine Helioses, the Vortex ones anyway. Um, there was a Hades Myriad, I believe, or something of the such that it also had a spinning wheel in it. Uh, Alpha Hydronoid, you know, having the metal ring. So there's all kinds of different gimmicks. Um, this one has the Ripcord, so very much like Beyblade. Any of you Beyblade fans out there, you know, just let your Bakugan rip. Why not? Let's go. <laughs> but very cool. Um, very interesting. I don't think it really impacts play that much. We'll see here. Well, kind of. But there is Turbine Helios. Um, mine is Ventus, as you can see. It does have manual parts I was messing with. Two little feet which honestly look adorable in comparison to the whole body. And then a horn and lower jaw, which does make the Bakugan look very cool overall. And even has a little tail. So a lot of detail in this Bakugan, and no wonder it was the, uh, like the evil centerpiece, much like Hydronoid was in the first series. This was the, uh, quote, Hydronoid of the second series very cool and if I can get the uh, the ripcord back in I'll show everyone the little disc you can see it right in there but it does indeed have a little spinning wheel inside very cute gimmick so if I had the arms they would plug in right there and right there, but unfortunately I don't. So all we can do now is close in the tail and plug the fox bat in. And there we go. So that is what I have of Max's Helios. Only two Bakugan short. I promise if I ever do find those Bakugan in the future, I will have a Max's Helios legacy update. But for now, that is how I wanted to end the series because this is a very cool uh, Bakugan. Just ironic that I happen to have this one and I just completed the Ultimate Viloc. So just really thought everything going down and with the Viloc series ending and completed, I thought it'd be really neat to show off this Bakugan. What do you all think in the comments down below of Turbine Helios and its Maxis form? At least what I have of it. Um, really cool. Really happy to show all of you my Legacy Bakugan collection. Um, again, I don't have any Gundalian Invaders, Bakugan, or Mectanium Surge, so that, that is a downside there. Um, but I definitely did enjoy sharing all of these old classic Bakugan with everyone. Uh, tomorrow, I will be showcasing all of the cards I have from the old series. I hope everyone enjoys that video as well. But thank you all so much. You know, we broke 50 subscribers. We are currently sitting at 52 as of recording this video. And I'm just extremely grateful. I couldn't do it without any of you. Your support is tremendous. Like, this journey has been amazing. And I'm just over a month into it. And already, it is just more than I ever could have dreamed of. And I appreciate everything all of you have done the comments, the feedback, it's all been great and very important as well. So just thank all of you, you know, thank the Baku crew, any new viewers watching, thank you as well. Um, I look forward to making, you know, new daily content. See you next time. And remember, Bakugan Brawl.